I'm a wildlife photographer for National Geographic, and for years I wanted to have one of my big projects be in Central Park. I wanted to do the Cristo thing, and I just could never pull it off. The amount of money, the planning, and, and I had an exhibit, and I didn't get the funding for that. So when I started this, the first thing I decided to do was put my own pictures in the trees as a gift to the community. This year's all whales from Flip Nicklin, a colleague of mine. Um, we have one donor that it was her idea, Darlene Anderson. She said, why don't you hang them in the trees? And now we've got it figured out. We're going to make them bigger next year. Those are images that anybody can look at, no matter what age they are. They're not controversial. They heighten our idea of protecting the environment. Every year we will have environmental or wildlife pictures in the trees and that's what brings us to the community. Those pictures are not just for photographers, they're for everybody. We're having a great time at the festival, um, looking at a lot of really good work. It's about community. It's a it's a vulnerable profession. You're always frightened that you're going to fail. You, there's and this is about us supporting each other. When I told Nick that I would, you know, when he asked me to come here, I said I was photographing proms, and I was afraid it might conflict with my proms. But he said, well, why don't you do a prom in Charlottesville, and then they arranged for me to come here and do it. So that was great. By celebrating really important, lifelong legacy photographers, as we did last year and we do this year, you give the young photographer something to touch, something to hold on to, and, it, and it, that's the key.